Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Cory and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. Now in this video, we are going to be going over today's daily challenges and making some gold, money, and XP along the way. So let's go ahead and kind of get started. Let's check out what the new ones are for today. We have to cook three succulent seasoned fish, one showdown mode completed, kill one flying bird with a sniper rifle. Ooh, that's my favorite one. No, it's not. I'm not usually very good at that. I shocked myself the last time with this one, and that was the first shot, first kill. I probably won't do it this time. We have to skin two foxes, five, uh, a multiplayer kill within five seconds in showdown. Okay, there's two showdown ones so far. Kill three players with a shotgun in showdown and pick five wild fever view. Hmm. Okay, so we got what? Three showdown ones? So cook season sucking on fish. I'm just going to go over this one just real quick because I'm actually not. I'll cook the fish on screen, but you guys need to know how to get them. You guys need to go ahead and get some trout. And once you actually get the trout, you'll need three of them. And then each one that you break down, you'll actually get succulent fish. Now, there are some really good locations out there to get the trout. Um, one of the best ones is actually by Thieves Landing. And then also down by Bard's Crossing is a really good good location uh, for trout. So those are the two locations that I typically use if I'm gathering them up. I always make sure that I have a little bit of succulent fish in my inventory that I never sell. Um, that way you just never have to worry about because this one does come up a lot. Uh, I think it's come up three times maybe in the last couple weeks already. Maybe even more than that if I can recall. Uh, finish the showdown mode. I'm not even going to do that one on camera just because the showdown is, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, we'll do this one or we're going to attempt to do this one. Uh, skinning two foxes. That's just going to be finding some foxes naturally around the world. For the most part, you can find foxes anywhere um especially in wooded areas are some of the best ones uh, i saw a ton of them up by strawberry yesterday when i was up there killing five or killing multiplayers in within five seconds like the best one that i can think of would be like name your weapon in the showdown mode just because you have a shotgun and you can usually get a couple kills pretty quickly if you get surrounded um and then player kills with a shotgun so there you go you can actually get those two done with this with one thing so two kills you get a multi-kill and then two kills with a shotgun you get the two player kills with the shotgun and you just need one more that should be pretty self-explanatory and then wild fever few i'm gonna go to a new location actually down here in the tumbleweed area it's between like tumbleweed and armadillo is specifically where i'm going to be going um so we're going to go ahead and grab that out so definitely stay tuned for that all right let's go ahead and get started there's actually a bird right here in front of me that i'm going to actually try my luck here with a sniper rifle, and let's see if I can actually get this thing here. And... Nope, that's going to be a negative. <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad with sniper rifles, guys. You have no idea. I actually hate sniper rifles. And... Nope. I thought maybe a big target would be better for me, but apparently not. Let's go see if we can chase it down a little bit, or is it just out of... There's, there it is. There it is. Let's, let's get a little bit bigger target, shall we? Actually, where is it at? I got, a, I got a horse's butt in my face. Man, I'm so bad at this. Ugh. All right, guys, I finally got a sniper kill, and I have no idea what it was. I think it might have been a condor or maybe a hawk, but I'm pretty sure it was a condor, so let's go ahead and check it out. So we did get a gold bar for completing that one. I don't really even know how many bullets it actually took. Maybe somebody was keeping track of it, and uh, you guys can see how many I have left in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. So leave a comment down below and tell me how many bullets I used to actually get one flying bird with a sniper rifle. <laughs> I am so bad at this and also let me know in the comment section if you guys are bad at it because I would like to feel a little bit better about myself if I'm not the only one that can't do this so let me know down below all right so next on our daily challenge list might as well get the hardest one out of the way uh cooked three seasoned succulent fish which we kind of went over before uh skin two foxes and 
Wild Fever. All right. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab out my... My varmint rifle here. I'm going to see. I can't remember if there's actually a fire down here at Benedict Point. I can't remember. Um, otherwise, we might have to be traveling a little bit of distance. Otherwise, we're going to have to wait for that one for a little bit later. So let's just check down here just real quickly and see if there's a fire that we can use to cook our seasoned succulent fish. And I'm not seeing any. All right, so since I was down here at Benedict Point, I decided to check Solomon's Foley, and there actually is a fire. I completely forgot about this location. I'm going to go ahead and cook up our succulent fish right now for you guys so we can have that challenge done. I've always been saying that I wish that there was a fire really close to Solomon's um, f or to Tumbleweed area, and there is. Um, now I'm trying to think. So we got McFarland. I'm pretty sure there's a fire at McFarland's Ranch. I don't know if there's one really, really close to... And one at Armadillo, there might be one up at Twin Rocks or maybe Fort Mercer, possibly. All right, succulent seasoned fish. Um, let's, do, let's go minty. All right, so that is them completed. We got three of them done, so we got another gold bar for that. So we can go ahead and leave this area right here. We got our gold, so we're, we are good. There we go. Almost 930 gold bars, not too shabby. If I do say so myself. All right, now uh, we have to go and find a couple foxes. Otherwise, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go uh, up to the area that I need to be at in order to get this uh, fever few, the location that I'm thinking of anyway. So I'll be with you guys in just a moment. Well, all right, guys, we made it to our destination. I'm going to show you guys exactly on the map where we are located. And I think I forgot to point out Solomon's Foley, just in case you guys don't know where that's at. But here's Benedict Point. You have Tumbleweed just up here, Benedict Point just south, Solomon's Foley. And right at the big one, which is the barn, is where I found the campfire if you guys need to have one down in this area. There might also be one actually in Downing Gap Tooth Breach. I guess I haven't necessarily looked at that, um, but you might want to check that out. All right, so this is where we're going to be collecting um, some of the wild fever few. There should be four locations relatively close, actually five. Uh, there's going to be one right about a here or so. Uh, there's also going to be another one right about, if I can get my marker on the map, and then there, and then right about there. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember. I think it's like right here and right about here. So there's five locations for the fever few, like right in this general area. And I wanted to just kind of show you that. But yeah, it's right between Armadillo and Tumbleweed, which is amazing. So let's go ahead and get our eagle eye out in already. Looks like we got some kind of bush, berry bush there. Oh, and there's the fever few right there. I actually marked it almost perfectly. A little off, not too bad. But I'm going to go ahead and pick this fever few. Nice. There's three of them here at this location for me, but I'm going to run to each of the ones that I marked for you guys, and then that way you guys can see them exactly in comparison to where I put the markers at. All right, so that's actually a three for me. So let's actually run over here to this next location. Looks like there was obviously like a berry bush right there. Ooh, if anything almost got me. Little booger. All right, it should be right here somewhere. There it is. Oh, it's a wild carrot. That's not going to help me. Let's see. Wild carrots and fever few. Let's see. It should be right in this location. Oh, it's right, right here. Oh, so it was a little bit closer than I thought. All right. There we go. Not the carrots. We wanted the fever few, so this is going to be number four for me right here. I guess I should have paid attention that I actually said carrot. All right. Let's go ahead and run a little bit north here to the next marker. There it is. Right there. So just a little bit closer to the road than I originally uh, originally thought. And then let's go ahead and run back down over here. Is that, right? Is that it right there? There we go. There's some more right here. Right next to the wagon. The broke down wagon. And then right on the other side of the road, there should be some more right over here as well. Man, all the rattlesnakes in the area. 
and there it is right at the edge of the road so a little bit closer to the road than i put on the map to begin with so those are that's like five locations that you guys should easily be able to find the wild fever view so i think the only thing that we have left to do actually besides the showdown one is actually skin a couple of the foxes so i'm gonna ride up to i think tall trees would be a good area maybe even north of strawberry or around strawberry area is going to be good uh, i haven't heard any in this area so i'm going to go ahead and start looking for them and once i find them i'll show you guys on the map where i found them but for the most part you guys can find foxes anywhere uh they do have a distinctive noise that you guys can actually listen for and be able to find them pretty easy oh i heard a fox guys there's one right there. Nice. All right. I They have a very distinctive sound. So once I hear them, I know that they're in the area. So this is the first one that I found, found a red fox. There's also what, silver and gray. And I think that's maybe it. I could be wrong, but there, I think that's the ones that they are. So let's grab this guy. So that's gonna be one of the two all done. Well, I might as well keep that pelt. That's perfect. I don't really care about the stringy meat at all, but now let's go ahead and find another one and complete this daily challenge. But if you guys want to know where I'm at, this is where I'm at. I'm up here in tall trees. I'm literally just, I came up here by this trail here and then just rode around this way. And then I found it right here at this uh, intersection. So beautiful. Let's continue uh, to find another one. All right. I knew I heard another one. We got it. It's, it's, it is going downstream, though, so we're going to have to grab this real quickly. There we go. Whew. Thought we are going to lose it there for a little bit. So let's go ahead and skin this thing. Let's go ahead and drop it. All right, now we can go ahead and skin it. Red Fox, number two. And our daily challenge is now going to be complete. So that is everything besides the showdown series. So hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And honestly, I found this one right outside of Strawberry. I'll show you guys here in just a second once I actually get it here. There we go. Perfect. And our gold bar. And let's go ahead and show you guys exactly on the map where I was at. So basically, I decided to ride from here. And I rolled around tall trees. And then I rode into Strawberry. And this is where I found it. So... Uh, yeah, you guys can pretty much find foxes anywhere. They do make a very, very distinctive noise, and I'll try to make sure that I leave that in the video so you guys can actually hear it before I actually say something about it because that's what I'm actually... When I'm riding around, I'm pointing the gun, and I'm also listening for the type of animals that are around me, especially when I am hunting. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video, and if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot, and it's greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it, and you guys stay gaming. <laughs>